guys, Stacels here and today we're playing a game called Patreon. Don't forget if you like the videos to hit the like button and subscribe for more. So, this is supposed to be like some strategy and kind of medieval um, game. I really like the whole medieval um, genre, so um, anyway, this is rel this is pretty new out. Um, Stacels off palette. I don't know what to call it. That'll do. <laughs> Uh, let's have a look for a banner. To be fair, oh, that's cool. Okay, I like that one. Where are we gonna live? Mediterranean. Ooh. Difficulty normal. Okay. Uh, Pine Ridge. Twin Islands. The Summit. Okay, I'm gonna go with Mediterranean, I think. I don't really know. Uh, okay. That looks good. I don't really know about settings, so we're just gonna jump in at a normal pace and hope that everything works. Stasisopolis is established. Welcome. Okay. So your citizens have already built townhouse and are ready for your guidance. Focus on getting your citizens in a place to live, food to eat, and firewood to keep warm. Okay. Winter is coming. Uh oh, <laughs> it's up to you to prepare for it in time. Build houses, build an upgrade, a gatherer shelter, build a sawmill, and build a depot. Okay, so I need to remember those things, right? Okay, welcome to Patreon. Okay, sounds good. How do we? We need to build a house. Let's do W A S and D. Uh, ooh, ooh, okay. This game looks really nice. And we can move our camera around like this. Nice, okay. Q and E is also rotation. Nice. Uh, interact with the mouse button. There we go, okay. So they need housing. So um, only one family can occupy a single house, makes sense. Build five tents or houses. So I'm gonna guess that this is this button down here. You need 20 coins. Do we have coins? Oh, we do, okay. Okay, well let's build. I don't know if using coins is a bad idea right now, but. Let's let's buy three houses. And like Can I just build and then we'll like get rid of the trees? Let's do that. Nothing is free, I've noticed. Mark some trees for gathering. How do I do that? Oh, Gather trees. Ah! That's kind of cool. Making efficient production chains uh, resets on having value the data. Okay. Um, cycle through the overlays by putting. Okay, good. Oh! Food. Okay, we need the gatherer's shelter. So, I might build that over here. Okay, we did say it did say we needed a depot as well. So, in the hints out of that, I am just going to place one of those like now. Um, it also said that we should build a sawmill. All these things are very expensive, but um, it did kind of say necessary, so I'm just going to go for it. Okay, 
Okay, they've built a couple of houses already. Uh, there's only a few people with little symbols over their heads that say that they don't have a house, so... So far looking good. So this tells us what we've got. We've got 420 food, 44 wood, a little bit of firewood, not much money. Don't know how we're going to do that. <laughs> we'll figure it out. On a side note, they live in the Mediterranean and the, it's very pretty. Wow. Uh oh, it's raining. Is this going to be a problem for us? Having a tropical storm. Can a tent hold up against that? So let's say we click off everything, we click on this. What does this tell us? This tells us the overall health, okay. Residence four of four, okay. In a tent. Ah, I see, and you can fit six people in a house. Okay, nice. So uh, I guess these two then are the last two family that need a home. So hopefully now that that tent's up, they'll be okay. Sorry, it's a tent, guys. We don't have much money. So most buildings require workers. So in this case, gather shop requires gatherers. Okay. Assign two workers to the profession. Either select the building or open the jobs panel. So we can go here. Well, that's straightforward enough. Uh, overly long transport routes can cause serious problems. Build a depot to create a new drop off and pick off point, as well as to expand the stock minimum. Okay, that we're working on. I'm going to tell them to cut this tree here and this tree here. Obviously we want to leave like some of the palm trees, but equally I need to be able to see what I'm doing here, so. Production trains, okay. Uh, to make it easier for workers and carriers to do this, place some roads and connect your buildings. Ooh, okay, roads. Dirt road. Okay, I see. I kind of like the fact that there's packs. This is really cool. Okay, so hang on. Before I read the next tool tip, I just want to make sure that like... Okay. I don't know, I'm just gonna do that just in case. Okay. So now they've got like a little path. I'm gonna make them a little. Can we get an alley down here? Will this work? Yes. There we go. Okay. Right. Uh, winter is coming, and you're invaluable. So it wants to keep warm. They do this by burning far with the coal. Build a sawmill. Okay. We've done that. Um. Make sure you have enough lumber and don't forget to assign a woodcutter. That I have not done. Upkeep, 120, okay. Oh, we're gonna need a lot more trees, right? This is like deforestation on a mass scale. Okay, I'm just gonna do this because 
I don't know how much wood we're going to need, but if we just keep them busy, that seems like a good thing to do. Okay, berries and mushrooms aren't enough to keep the citizens fed and happy and healthy. They need more variety. A hunting lodge. Oh, yeah, okay. I did see that. We'll build a hunting lodge here, and then what we'll do is we'll connect it with a path. Okay, so when you take care of the basic necessities you want to expand, grow, and advance, take a look at various research projects. Ooh, hello. Oh, yeah, definitely fisherman's hut. How do we earn money? The time's running smoothly, you can afford to speed up time somewhat. Use the controls, uh, speed up, slow down, or even pause. Well, that makes me nervous. I'll put it on two. Okay, it just said good luck. We're on our own. Yeah, how do we like to make the money? This is the question. Let's have a look through here. We've got town buildings, docks, well, watchtower, shrine. Okay, so docks enables trading with the mainland. Yeah, if we don't... We need iron though. Do we have... Iron mine. Here we go. Okay, I'm not really sure about the money thing because... Oh, wait. Do we just earn it? Or maybe you just do it. I don't know. Anyway, I, I'm going to look at the dock because it does look like we have some uh, iron. And I think it might be a good thing to do. Because then what I'm going to do is build like... Um, We've got production buildings here. If we build the fisherman's hut. Or maybe even the herbalist's hut, which is cheaper. 60 a year, 60 a year. Actually, the fisherman's hut is cheaper, so... I might be doing this completely wrong and um, may fail the game. But to me this seems like a good thing to do. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this and hopefully everything's going to be fine. I don't know how they repair their buildings if they get into trouble with that kind of stuff. How are we doing on food right now? 
changing six yeah, okay. Okay, what do these things do? Gather metal. Can you gather these things? No? clicking things now and I don't know what I'm clicking so let's see here they are uh, this is waiting for a worker to build is it because I'm just chopping so many trees it's probably because I told them to like deforest the area but it's because we need firewood and I was a little bit worried about winter coming and having no firewood but same is going to happen if we have no food I guess so Okay, they're on it. Uh, we've got a worker in that. How many people do we have? Is that a thing that we can see? Oh, here. Ah. Ten adults, six young, three children, um, and five families in total. Okay, that's cool. So if we've got ten adults, we've got two in here. Uh, one, two, three... Oh no, that doesn't need a worker, right? No. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's decent to keep the place running, I think. Maybe. So will it automatically like assign them the job? Yes, there we go. Click to open trade panel, here we go. So we can buy and sell various different things like fish for example. Oh, this is cool, okay. Okay, this is good. I think we're actually doing okay here, hopefully. I'm hoping with the fishing and the hunting hut, this will uh, produce us a way of earning money, maybe. Okay, so the next thing I was thinking about um, I don't know, but I feel like a herbalist hut is probably a good thing to have. This thing makes herbs and then also um, It should be able to make us some money. I'm gonna go ahead and collect some more packs here. Because I don't think... I don't know how much a difference it makes to them if they don't have like a path to follow. But we might, might as well not make their life any harder than it needs to be, really. So what have we got? Uh, okay, we have 19 clothes. We seem to have a lot of firewood, so that's good. Um, should we just take 
these trees out of the way here and then at least we can kind of see what's going on there. So far, looking good. takes um villagers to age and that kind of stuff so i guess we just need to keep an eye on that as well okay we don't seem to be producing enough food Training. Production during winter plus 15%. Let's do that. Uh, production plus 20%. Let's do that. I'm a little bit worried about the uh, food scenario. So this says 480 fish in a year. Mm, a year's a long time, so I wonder when I'm making it. Let's have a look here. Why do we have so many tools? I don't know who made these, but we have tools. Okay, um, maybe I'll sell like a little bit of lumber. I'm gonna sell like, can I pipe this? Yeah. There we go. I sold a hundred. Um, we have plenty of trees, so I'm not really bothered about that right now. Grab the street, there we go. Let's clear a little bit of space. I don't want to take like everything out, but equally, you know. We've got to survive through winter, apparently. Uh, is there anything else we can do in terms of food? Center must be upgraded to gathering hall. What is a degree? Degree. Uh, oh my goodness, there's so many things. Okay. building let's go back to here do we have a gatherer shelter oh yeah we do okay Let's increase their production.
Because I'm not sure about the food situation, but I feel like we're going to run out. So we've got a fisherman's hook, we've got depot, we've got gatherers, hunting lodge. That requires research quarry. So maybe we should go ahead and do this. Ice fishing. Increases fishermen's hurt as fishers and during the Okay, that seems cool. I'm gonna research quarry because I think that's the next thing that I need to do really. Okay, so they're waiting for a ship to arrive. Uh, monthly produce, 165 coins. Okay, that's, that's good. So I think what I need to do is increase the proficiency of the buildings that... Um, that get food. to be aware about the food situation. Here we go, we've re researched quarry now. Okay, and then how much does this take to build? 55 and it also has an upkeep cost okay I'm gonna say we need to be a little bit careful maybe we go to the end of this month what is this thing here labor oh okay influence points they're used for enacting decrees through the policies panel. Oh. Happiness is at 90. I mean, I think that's pretty decent, to be fair. This game looks so good. I love how far that you can, like, zoom in as well. This is really cool. I really love the banners. You definitely have the right banner. So if we go here... What do we have? Okay, so we've got... I mean, these are really expensive. Uh, let's have a look. So what does construction goods do? Construction goods is 10%. Uh, influence one coins 260 a year. As in that costs us or like gains us? Peasant and labourer taxes. Ah, oh, okay. I think it earns us money, and then obviously you can kind of go through. I guess this makes them unhappy. But you have to research these in the research panel. So that's what this is. Green ones are for that. Okay, I understand. There we go. We've got a bit more food incoming now. That's good. Okay, so we can probably build the, the quarry because we're going to need the stone, right? go ahead and connect this to a half here so 
So we can build bridges as well, which is pretty cool. And road signs. Right, let's speed this up. See if they can build this thing. To keep us going. What I'm thinking here is if we can gather more stone, then we can sell that via trade, maybe? I think we're going to make it through winter, you know? Not enough work is over there, you go. So basically, we now need people to... to grow up, to get older. <laughs> I don't know if there's a way to... jobs board. What we'll do is we'll take one off of that because apparently we don't have a carrier and that can be a problem. Um, residents. So do they count as being able to work from the age of 15? It says adult. Okay. Okay, they'll get that, they'll get that. I think we just have to be patient. <laughs> anyway, this is pretty cool so far. I'm probably going to leave this video here, but um, I feel like I've done pretty decently. I don't know, I may have messed this up completely, but I feel like we should have this trade come in any minute now, because this is um, apparently a ship comes. I don't know if a ship actually comes, but that would be pretty cool if it did. Um, I think that's to trade the wood, but I'm not 100% sure if you have to just, like, kind of keep setting up trades and if that's how it works. Um, the fact that it takes an amount of time to happen, though, um, is a little bit crazy because you've just got to be careful about... Okay, a ship didn't come, but you've got to be careful about, obviously, um, what you've got available. And yeah, how long that's going to take to complete. So, what I would like to do, like I say, is kind of um, get the quarry going. And I think you can, yeah, stone here. We can trade that stuff as well, just to earn a bit of money to then put it back into the buildings that we've got. Um, because... See, this is 60, but increases production by 40%. I think that's worth it, you know. I mean, that might put me in some trouble in terms of, like, coin production, but I think it's worth it if we can get more food incoming. I think that's what we need to do. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. Um, I really like this game. This is really cool. Um, really like the concept. It's... There's a lot to it, but also the graphics are pretty amazing as well. I love how far you can zoom into your villages. Um, yeah, it looks really good. Plays really nicely, like the system. Seems pretty straightforward to kind of get to grips with as well. Um, so don't forget, if you like the video, to hit the like button and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers, guys.